as I've known David, uh, he has collected and surrounded himself with some of the most unique objects on earth. Uh, from whimsical folk art pieces to the rarest of artifacts. David's appreciation has deepened my knowledge of the world and of humankind. One word came to mind when I was making these notes uh, this morning, and that word was visionary. Um, I've watched David collect these pieces and share stories of the people and places they come from for 10 to 15 years now. Uh, it's hard to believe that we're finally here this evening. It's just, it, it's really special. I've been in that office for 15 years when David unpacks his suitcase and he shows me a piece and he says, look at this, <laughs> Je Justin, JP, look at this, he, you know, and he tells me what it's about and he, and he says, this is, this is going to be for something special someday and I'm going to share this with a lot of people and so that's what's happening here this evening. These people have been here since year one, all four of them. Amita, my wife, Brooke, Tim, and Justin. They're, they're the heart and soul of David Allen. Well, shamanism is different than what a lot of people think. They, they don't understand that it's, it's mysterious, first and foremost. And when they worry about the mysticism, you know, it's, it's, it's what they don't know, and it's the energy and everything that, that comes out of the pieces. And for me, it's literally, you know, feeling the energy and seeing how, how the energy is, is positive and protective than it is from something else. And, and throughout my life, I've been able to at least feel the positive energy. Negative energy kind of gets blocked out, but that these pieces here speak, you know, for themselves. There's thousands, if not hundreds of years of, of history of healing. I feel extremely privileged and honored to be part of this uh, exhibition. I did a lot of the research for the pieces that were in the show and in the process of researching this, it was like an organic process, the whole show. It just snowballed into this amazing, amazing thing. We found that David has had a passion for healing and shaman and ancient art and traveling and adventure and collecting and he's somehow put it all together in this amazing package and this whole show is about healing. All of the energy up there is spiritual and healing and a lot of the cultures that are involved are animistic meaning that everything has a soul and a spirit. We've discovered that we have probably over, oh, well over 300 pieces in the show and it's come to um, light that even the major museums, Asian art museums, don't have a shamanic collection like this. There are at least four practicing local shaman here tonight. You guys, you, you're, you're still doing the work. Thank you. You're, you're beautiful people, and uh, I know you're carrying on old traditions. I was initiated into the, the medicine of the Kero shamans of Peru, of the high Andes, and essentially the medicine runs under the principle of Aini, which means right relationship, to be in reciprocity, to be in balance, not just with yourself, not just physical, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, but also with the earth, with every being. To be here in Solana Beach with David Allen, bringing this collection of shamanic tools to dispel the misperception of shamans in general throughout history, shamans are known for being the wisdom keepers. When I walked around and looked at all the shaman stuff, several pieces, I just connected to them immediately and wanted to take them all home with me. We are leaving with one. We apparently <laughs> bought the piece of the shaman with the hand in the air and the slight no. smile on his face and said he looks like the happy shaman. And uh, the, the energy on that one felt really good. And, and so uh, we decided we wanted it and then Somebody told us, well, that was one of David's favorite pieces. Yeah, I just feel it really good. If I'm thinking and vibing on the same level as David Allen, I'm doing pretty good. Well, this gives people an opportunity to not only see some culture, but to feel it, to tangibly pick something up and to feel what it's like to have been where David found these things or to feel what these people were experiencing when these things were being used. Pangalubalang, which is kind of like the prize piece of the show, is maybe 400 something years old and it was something that was made by the shaman himself and empowered by substances that were embedded in the piece 
and referred to as a spirit slave. So it was like an intermediary which, in with, with which shaman could uh, contact the other world, you know, deities and spirits and ancestors and um, negotiate. For 15 years, I've been wandering all over Asia and the pieces that attract me the most are these shaman pieces, they're healing pieces. Everything you see on these walls are pieces that were used by generations of shaman to heal and to connect a spirit. So those are the two essential things that we are and need as human beings is, is to connect to spirit and to be well. Amen. So these represent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shamans who've devoted their lives to us being well. And there's probably at least two billion people on earth now that depend on shamans for their connection to spirit and for their health and well-being. So it's very much alive. We don't, we think shamanism's gone. It's not, it's very much alive. And everywhere I go, my friends, that's who they go to first. They go to shaman because they know they'll get something for their heart, soul, and body. So about healing, and it's about spirit. But it's also, these pieces are about, they're about beauty, and they're about energy. So every piece here, I've collected one by one because of the energy, because it feels good, and everything it's ever been used for is for the good of mankind. So as you walk through, you'll feel special energy. Some pieces may connect to you. And I think they're all in one way or another, they're all beautiful. So that's kind of the, the soul of David Allen is, is beauty. Beauty and connection to each other and to a spirit. Really, thank you all. This is, it's a, an amazing venture we all get to do together. Really, that's it. <laughs>